Like my videos? Please hit subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. These are the two tiers I offer over on Patreon. Becoming a patron like these awesome patrons helps the channel, and you could even be playing with me on a private server. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Estrai, where's UK mod? So we're going to be facing the day 28 horde now. I skipped one day ahead, um, just because I know that we are ready, we have the steel and everything. But the 45k from last episode, I forgot we already have 10k in, the, uh, in our container. I actually went and I bought steel, and we have like... 10 blocks worth of steel left, but I'm going to be saving that for repairs. I want to show you guys exactly what we did first, like uh, the progress, and then, yeah, I tested the electric uh, the electric setup when it turned night, and since everything's working, we can just all test it against the horde. What I think I'm going to do as well, I want to see over here quickly. Nah, damn. Um, 22 and a half minute horde, or 15 minute horde? Let's go for a 22 and a half. Just so it actually fills all the episode a bit more. Nightmare speed and 64 blood moon spawn. So we should be ready guys. We have a ton of weapons and HD ones. I made myself an HD cult, a uh, yellow one. So now at least we can use those 0.45 ammo. And also remember we got the sniper rifle as a reward for the gunman class. So we can even use uh, that one for like demolishes and stuff showing up. But hopefully that's not going to be necessary. Now I really hope I did everything right. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, so we're in. As you guys can see, we do have a crossbow bolt with uh, exploding rounds. We have the spares that we got for a crest reward, um, and we're using slugs. We have ourselves the M60 machine gun over here with armor piercing rounds. Uh, I made four bundles, so that's 100 uh, rounds per bundle. I think it was 100. Was it 60? I can't remember. Anyways, I made four bundles, so that's that one. Um, we have this dragon orb over here that we got as a quest reward. And that's using this ammo over here. So we only have 110, 120 shots. Then we have the level, or the yellow level 5 HD Colt over here. And that uses the 0.45. We have 900 rounds. So I'm going to be using that over the pistol for now. Um, and obviously we have the HD range over here. We have 150 steel and concrete mix over here. Just in case these poles need to get repaired. Um, I really hope that doesn't happen. We, we do have the robotic turret, but I'm wondering if I should use it or not. The problem is if I use it right now, we might just end up shooting a demolisher in the chest. And if he explodes over here, it's going to be some serious damage. I'll show you guys exactly what's going on over here. Something that might just actually mess us up a bit. The fact that this is not steel. But over here, everything else is steel. I made that second layer in the inside over there steel as well. I'll show you guys this. I put these plates over here and I made this uh, rest of here steel. Not that over there and not the block on top. But all the way around so it helps structure integrity. And I just put this over here so it uh, blocks the view of the zombies. And then over here, oh, and also three layers all around that. And we have a whole pillar of steel over there. We have these wedges over here. So I hope spiders don't do what I'm doing right now by jumping up. What I could actually do as well, just place my bike down. I don't think we can though. Damn, I need to place my bike down so I can just drive away. Or I should have actually placed it outside already. Just turn this on. Hopefully we survive this, guys. I really, really hope we survive. But I, I just have this very bad feeling in my pit of my stomach. I should do this. So we can repair, uh, we can use normal guns or HD guns and we can repair in between. But the real problem is the fact that we didn't make the base steel. They might come for the reinforced concrete and go instead of going for the walkway. But we'll see what happens. If they go up the stairs and we actually hear them shocking, we know that everything's working. They're waiting on something. Come on, please don't tell me this is going to be a fail. It doesn't sound like they're going for the walkway over there. It sounds like they're going for the pillars over here. Which should be okay if I just make a hole and throw stuff down at them. But that's actually really bad for us. It does sound like they're doing a ton of damage over here. So I just need to open up to see them. So yeah, because we didn't make stuff steal over here, now we have a problem. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any gas on me. Oh, this is going to end bad. Oh yeah, there you go. Please, more of you guys, use the stairs. There you go, there you go. So some of them are making it over. Let's just hope not too many do. Now I just messed up over here because I need to place a block back in. So some of them are coming right, some of them are not. It all depends. See, some of them are being sliced by the, by the blade traps. They don't care that the blades are there. They're not clever enough to run down the middle. So as long as they're standing where the blades are, they should run right into the blades. Um, I want to see how much damage this does to them. Oh, I need to probably first pull the pin. Uh, another problem is there's no zombies to throw it against. Ooh, that was almost bad. I must make sure I don't like, do dumb mistakes like that. Also guys, we have a semi-automatic um, mod on this, so as long as I tap, 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 it can actually tap really fast. So far, it looks like this defense is working properly. They're running through an electric fence post, so not a ton of them are actually making it up over here. 
But as some get shot, the rest don't get shot and they make it over. So that's why there's so many actually making it over over here. But at least we're not getting bombarded by zombies and that's what I intended this place to do. Obviously, for those of you that don't know, you can put these blades closer together. And if you put them closer together, the zombies won't have any path in the middle that's safe for them. So ideally, that's what you want. You want the blades to be touching. But ours aren't, and it's working. They're running right through the blade traps. But the one thing I didn't do was bring repair kits or repair resources for the blade traps. Which might just be our downfall because we need to be able to repair them should they take too much damage. As long as you do headshots, these guns are super powerful. I love this gun. These Colts are insanely powerful. And I'm not even using my uh, pistol. And it seems like they're almost dying just on the blade traps alone before they even get to me. So these HD blade traps are OP as hell, but I'm guessing it's intended for like a late game play. Or end game kind of play. Guys, I'm going to make sure my Darkest Falls series um, next year. Uh, it should actually be the stream and everything. I'm going to make sure that the Ward Knights I record, but with two different audio tracks. So I can take my voice out of it or just make my voice louder. So I don't have to worry about the audio settings too much. I need to separate my mic and my um, game audio from each other. How much ammo does this thing have per 14, only 14 shots. Okay, I actually need a mag extend or something. And the toughest of zombies aren't even on the way, guys. This horde night is still early. I made the horde about 7 minutes longer. So we can still get like um, yetis and wrestlers and all those tough ones. They're still incoming. At least we have this gun, which we can just do that with. Look at that. Uh, that wasn't even a headshot that he took so much damage. As long as I do headshots to the boss zombies... We should be able to take them down with these HD weapons. Did he just hit me? Oh, I didn't invest any points over here. Um, boomstick. Oh, I need to max that out, but I can't. Gunslinger, I can also not max out because that has to be level 10. And sniper rifles. Where does rifles fall under? Rifles should be under one of these, right? Machine gunner. Let's just, let's just make sure that our M60 and our AK are strong enough for the bosses later. That's why I have uh, all my pity rounds in this one, because you can actually kill it really, really fast. You just need to do more headshots. And my aiming is really bad. Some of them actually get really proper shots, like I destroy their heads. And the rest I just keep on hitting the shoulders and the... Uh... Yeah, I'm hitting where they're not supposed to hit, basically. I'm hitting from the, the collarbone and up. up. I need to look for that word just now, collarbone, snittlebeon. I'm basically hitting them a little bit too low. I need to hit more. Ooh, this one's tough. I need to hit more of the shoulders and head. Oh, what did she just do? She hit me with something just now. Oh, man, I love this gun. I really, really love this gun. I need to every now and then reload as well, but I keep forgetting to do that. And also, I need to take into account their reach, their range. Um, some of these zombies reach really, really far, and that's really going to give us a problem later. Like when that one demolisher came while we were building, and hit me while I was standing over here. And then knocked me out. And while you're knocked out, zombies can come and destroy your base. Come on, I want to be able to loot all the loot bags over here. I should probably wait until I kill the zombies. Like, wait until they're right close by me and then kill them. So if they drop a loot bag, I can loot it. Because that over there, I can just, just loot that loot bag right there. Come on, zombies. That can't be all. The day 21 horde was way bigger than this. Technically, the day 14 horde was the biggest horde I've ever had. But I think in day 21, I wasn't killing zombies fast enough. That's why we had such a small turnout. This should be different now because I'm constantly killing zombies. And we should also constantly be leveling up. Even though we don't have the grandpa's learning elixir. So I'm shooting more from the hip, but if I do this, I can actually get more headshots. All about how you shoot, John. How do you shoot? I say, and then I keep on missing the shots right in front of my face. Damn, you lost your arm. I love the HD visuals in Alpha 19, though. The zombies are looking more and more realistic. I just can't wait until, like, left for dead kind of graphics. Boom, boom, double tap. It sounds like firecrackers going off. Speaking of, I haven't really actually heard firecrackers over at my aunt and uncle's place. And it's a very Indian area, and over here, they, they love setting off fireworks and stuff. Unless the police are way more, because um, it's actually against the law, because the dogs go crazy. But it doesn't stop people from still setting off fireworks over here. 
I have my shotgun for like the bosses that come up close and personal. But so far, I think the most... Most of the bosses are downstairs. It's only the small ones coming over like with my Darkest Falls defense. There's supposed to be way more zombies over here already, I think. Loot bag. I'm looking for more ammo. If I can get more ammo before the bosses start showing up, then I won't run out of ammo at all. I just regret not bringing anything to repair my blade traps with. I might take, be taking quite a bit of damage right now and I won't even realize it. Until it's too late and they're already completely broken. Um, oh, I just realized I don't even have my repair tool. Oh. I wonder if he can still explode that one. Like the thing on his back. That would suck though. Oh, nice. He disappeared. I don't want to try and shoot and accidentally set it off. So I was holding back a little bit until then. Oh, yeah, I want to see exactly how much damage. Ooh, see, that's a ton of damage. And it requires... Wait, what does it require to repair? I have no idea what that was just now. Was it a steel thing? Was it titanium? I might have been a mistake using the HD blade traps this early on, but you don't really have the resources to repair them. Although, they are doing a ton of damage to the zombies, so I can't really be complaining. Man, their range or the reach is amazing. It's insane. At least we're surviving. That's the that's the main thing I worry I was worried about. But see, guys, uh, this defense, obviously, when you're playing a series, uh, even though you're doing it for YouTube, you're going to be using the same defense over and over and over um, in the beginning of the game because you know it works. Why use something that doesn't work in the beginning of the game when you don't have resources? First make what you know works, and then later when you have the resources, experiment with the defenses. This defense I've uh, realized is the best one. Just slow them down when they're going over the quarter blocks over there. Although these are making it over way better, or way easier, than my Darkest Falls base. Although there's not as many electric fence posts over here, so that might be why. But there's almost none of them making it over over here, which... Oh no, too many are making it over over here. In Darkest Falls, almost none of those zombies made it over until morning. This is like a very budget, a very, very small budget uh, one of the Darkest Falls one. In the Darkest Falls one, there were 14 electric fence posts. Um, well, 28 altogether on the side. But 14 blocks worth of electric fence posts just blocking the zombies off. Ooh. Over here, it's a little bit different. Over here, we only have 4 on each side instead of 14 on each side. Is that zombie still alive? It looks like he's bleeding out. No, he just, he just died. Oh, it's raining. Oh man, I love this gun. I should probably also turn them around the side of here, but I'll just take them from this one side of here until they die. Or until that side gets destroyed, and then we uh, bring them to this side. So if you have two entrances to your uh, base, guys, make sure the zombies can only reach you from one side. And with this defense, make sure the blade trap, when they're standing on that side, the blade trap still needs to be able to hit them. If you've uh, placed the poles the wrong side around, like I did with my Day 98 um, Darkness Falls Horde, then they stand here, they don't, do, they don't get hit at all by the blade traps, and they do a ton of damage to the poles. You want them to, as they're trying to hit the poles, just taking a ton of damage. That way as well, they don't accidentally hit the blade traps, but they'd rather go for your poles. And since the poles are steel, they last way longer. Man, I've leveled up so many times already. Come on, give me more ammo. And now they're coming from that side. Why are they not shocking on that side, though? That, that is on. Did I not connect it properly? It sounds like that side's not shocking, but this side is. No wonder so many zombies are making it over on the right. Oh, look at that gore over there. Ugh. Yuck. Wait, was she still alive just now, or was that just a bug? It looks like she was uh, just standing there doing nothing. So guys, I can't believe it's day 29. We've already gotten like 40-something episodes of, Dark, of Ways UK. And we're only on day 29. So, in 2021, my Darkest Falls series, I want to make sure that doesn't happen. At the moment with Ways UK, I was recording 30, min 30 minutes and that's it. I was talking basically for 30 minutes. But I should actually cut out the boring parts like I did uh, way back with my Darkest Falls series. So that I record, say, 40 minutes, but the episode's only 30 minutes long. At least that way we get more stuff done and also the in-game days progress faster. You could alternatively just make sure that you have your days set to like 30 minute days instead of 60 minute days. Although the wards are then going to be like 7 minutes long instead of 15 to 25 long. 
So you want shorter minutes per days, so you actually can uh, make progress in the game with days, like uh, the amount of days. But at the same time, you want your wards to be, to be as long as possible. That's why most people opt for the 60 minute days. I'm going to actually go check at the back over there, but I'm just afraid that they're going to start coming for me if I do that. And I'm sweating like crazy over here. It's so hot. Usually this time of year when I'm looking after my aunt and uncle's place, it's raining, there's storms and everything. But so far it hasn't rained a single, uh, a single day. Well, it rained one day, but just during the day. And it's just so hot over here, it's crazy. I'm constantly sweating. Come on, zombies, make it over. No, since it's almost morning, I want to check out over the back if I can see anything. I could technically go to the back and quickly see if there's any zombies there, but they might then decide to stay with me. Let me just try. This might be a mistake because everything's going so well. Let's just pull the pin on this. And this was a mistake because I'm on side of the zombies now. Now we just jump up over here, and hopefully they come for the entrances. They are going to try and destroy that place or that side a bit. Technically, we could just throw a few grenades over here, or pie bombs. So we could literally do this. Come on. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to draw all the zombies to me. They're nightmare speed, so they will be able to hit me if I'm not careful. See, now I just go back. I pull this one. Jump up. I throw it where these zombies are. Oh, come on. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake just now. I held it too long and that almost exploded on my face just now. That killed like what? One zombie. Hello, hello, dearie. I want to see what they did on this side. Why is that side not shocking but this side is? Did they destroy... Oh, you know what I think happened? I think a vulture destroyed the relay. Although that is connected... No, we can't see whether it's connected or not. Yeah, look at this. That one goes to the relay, but that one does not go to the relay. So now I'm actually uh, doubting whether I actually connected it in the first place. I think I connected it, but I really can't tell. Although, I don't have to complain. So far, this defense is working at least. I wonder though, can I aim this in such a way to be able to set a few of these off if I do this? I just really hope I hate a ton of zombies over there because they seem to con be converging on that side. Okay, let's pull the pin. Oh, come on, that's not gonna... Oh, that did. That one zombie just knocked it off course though. Oh, I love this gun. All the HD guns are so OP, it's insane. Although, we shouldn't really be complaining. It should be fun or nice that it's so OP. Okay, um... I want to be able to set more of these off, but I want to bounce it off in such a way that it actually reaches the zombies. But every time a zombie comes down the hallway over here, it actually ruins the timing on it because it hits a zombie and then it doesn't explode like it's supposed to. Ooh, that actually exploded a ton. So if I do this, because these should also be able to set off. Oh, come on. That the zombies. Okay, I want to be able to do this as well. So I'm going to aim it in such a way... Okay, I need to aim it so it actually goes past and towards the zombies. And everyone needs to be exactly pulled the same direction. Uh, these are impact grenades or contact grenades, so I can't do that with this. But I can perhaps set them alight like so. I just hope it bounces the same. Oh, it did. Nice, it actually works. See, so you can actually use this as ammo and use these as fuses. Or you could just obviously use this one as... Uh, no, that didn't really do anything. Only problem is, every time I uh, throw enough of these down there, all of a sudden the zombies come down the hallway and I hit them accidentally. I feel like that. That was just... Oh, that's another waste. Come on. Thank you, Blade Chat. A little bit too late, but still. The nice thing is, we can just throw a ton of these down there and it should still do a ton of damage. You know, technically, I can just do this. So if there's a zombie there, it can explode, but they're going to die before that anyways. This thing's so powerful. Literally, you can literally... Oh, that's a jack-o'-lantern. That's fire, so that's a, a jack-o'-lantern zombie. It basically has like a pumpkin head and it's on fire. Come on, boss zombies. Where are you guys? I want to so badly go check it out downstairs, but that's going to mean I have to run outside again. 
I should actually always have myself some uh, fuel to be running around with over here. Yeah, I didn't connect it. That sucks. Because I didn't connect it, that's actually costing me severely. Oh, now I just set that alight so I won't be able to get back into my own base. Um, I'm going to set myself alight over here, but that's fine. Oh, no, I didn't. Nice. Close that. The vultures are coming in. I'm going to get some of that off so we don't really have to, uh, If they're burning outside, they're dying. If they're constantly dying, more bosses and more bosses and more bosses are spawning. And you want as many bosses as possible to spawn. Nice, thank you. Great Undead Hound Raj. Oh, that's a Demolisher. I wonder if we can actually hit the zombies like this. If that is a Demolisher, guys, we're going to have to use our M60 or our shotgun to the face. That sounds like a very big zombie, so I hope... You know what? I'm going to see if... Oh, crap. Um, let's use a sniper rifle to the head. Oh, wow. That does an insane amount of damage. And the nice thing is the blade traps don't set off the demolishers. Even if the demolishers are crawling, it does not... Even if it hits the chest, it doesn't set them off. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to make sure we actually aim it just right. If I can get about 10 of these to combo down there... Then these zombies doesn't be in the way. Come on, Blade Chaps, help me out. There you go. Okay. Let me step back a bit. I don't want this guy to hit me because I don't want to be irradiated. Boom. Ooh. That was a level 6 pistol just now. Nice. The loot's going up and up and up all of a sudden. I wish I could loot all those loot bags. All of them are despawning at the moment, which kind of sucks. So if I can set more of these. These are more powerful than the pipe bombs. So if you can do this. Switch to this one. The only problem is the pipe bombs have a different shape. So sometimes they don't go where they're supposed to. Oh, come on. Still your boss. If it wasn't for the boss zombies, I'd actually jump out again. But I'm taking so many chances jumping down there. Because the demolishers are really, really powerful. Let me just see if I do this. Does it still go down the same hallway? It's supposed to. I just want to stand far enough back so we don't have to worry about zombies hitting us while we're standing there. You need to make sure you hold your mouth still when they do all this. Ooh, there's another one. Hello, hello. Um, where's my gun? It sucks that I can't see my gun though. I'm doing damage, at least. A severe amount of damage. But since you can't see... Oh, something just broke. Oh, no. I thought something broke when it was a blade trap just hitting him. Come on, I want the loot. You're lying right on top of the loot, dude. Thank you. So far, we've run quite a bit of ammo. Ooh, this poltergeist is a tough one. Not a geist, it's just a zombie geist. Oh, nice. The HD guns take them down really fast. In Alpha 20, I really want to try more bases where you're facing them head on like this. Only problem is the part thing, I, I really doubt the kind of part thing they're going to have in Alpha 20. Because someone said that the bases are going to be obsolete, and if that's the case, I wonder why. What do they change in Alpha 20 that makes it so different? Yeah, you almost messed up my shot just there. I don't think there's any more demolishers, so let's just quickly go check again. It's really dumb of me to do this, because just now there are a ton of demolishers. I just need to uh, constantly do that, up, up and down, uh, between the grenades I throw over here and the fire I rain down upon them on the sides, I get a ton of XP. Boom, boom, boom. And then while we wait for them again, we do this again. Just need to watch out for all those, for the birds and stuff. Ooh, almost didn't make that jump. That was a massive chance of me to take just now. I literally didn't make that jump almost. Okay, I think let's just turn this off quickly. I want as many of them to get through as possible, and then we can turn it back on. The blade traps on the side can stay on. That's fine. Reload. Ooh. The shots just went right through the zombies and hit all of them at the back. Okay, blade traps help out a bit, please. I didn't count on the jack-o'-lantern to get us through as well. These guys do the same amount of damage, especially the lady with knives for hands, and the jack-o'-lanterns and undertakers. If you're not careful, they can easily kill you. I'm wasting ammo for no reason, guys. There's no reason for me to be using this much ammo. 
But it's nice being able to just do this to these guys. Because they do die from the fire as well. Oh crap. No, 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 he's too fast. Ooh, if I don't make that jump up, I'm dead. Wait, where are you? Hello. Oh, he just gave me a brain disease. At least we do have the vol uh, the thing for the disease. The cure. But still, that sucks getting, the <laughs> getting infected like that. Okay, run and gun. I'm able to run and shoot these guys as well. At least they don't glitch through. Ooh, I didn't realize that was a phantasm just now. That could have ended badly. As you guys are aware, the phantasms can actually vomit. And they do a certain amount of damage to your base as well. I wonder how many of these can, uh, can actually stack at a time. Come on, kill the doggy. Come on, blade traps. There you go. At least I didn't pull the pin on that one. Otherwise, I would have exploded in my hand just now. Come on. Pull the pin. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, just 4,000. Trying to see exactly how much XP I can get from uh, throwing at a certain point. Technically, it's supposed to catch on fire if I throw it there. Uh, because they're running straight to the fire, but it seems that's not how it works in this mod. You have to get hit by the bolotops to actually take damage. Ooh, there's another pipe bomb over there. Hello. Before it uh, disappears... Oh, come on. Before it disappears, I actually want to use it. Did I go too far? Yeah, he's going too far. I want to hit that wall and have it bounce back towards that one over there. Oh, or I could just do this. That's a, that's a contact grenade, so it's going to go... Thr -thr -thr. Okay, now there's more demolishers downstairs and we be careful of right now. You guys, even if just standing here, I need to be really careful. Oh crap, I can't set that alight just now. I'm going to have to do this and that. Because I just forgot that that... Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh no, what did, you just... What did I just do? I think that I just destroyed my own traps. Oh no. Oh, that does seem like the, uh, it does sound like the electric fence posts are still working, but what the hell? Okay, there is a siren head outside. His blade traps are still taking some damage. Where's the siren head? I don't know how he actually kills you, or what kind of zombie it is. I've never seen the series or the movie or the game, or whatever. But I have no idea what kind of monster the siren head is. See, those plates over there should actually be touching the floor. Because it's, since it's not, uh, if I throw a grenade there or I want to stack a few grenades there, it's going to fall down the hole in, in between that block and the plates. Unfortunately. Oh wait, I'm not getting any XP for trap kills. I think. Or well, am I? Oh, I am. 50% from electrical trap kills. I wonder if the blade trap kills and um, count the same as the electric fence post kills. Where are you? I just hear that static sound, but I don't see any zombie. Okay, it's almost morning, they're gonna go out and check. I should have actually taken this out. Ooh, there's a vulture upstairs. I should have taken this out so I could actually jump over and just go out in the morning. That guy's actually really bothering me. Let me just turn that off, it's almost morning anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And we're gonna turn that off. He should make it over right now because there's no electric fence post stopping him. I don't know how slow he moves if he never runs. If he never runs, then I have a problem. He has to run over that thing. At least he's really, really tall, like the demolishers, and he'll be able to step over. Before you vomit, before you vomit. Okay, I should not have turned off the blade traps, especially with this guy in there. Where the hell is this guy? I just hear the siren head static, but I don't really see him. Okay, loot. Where is he? I know he's down there somewhere. I wonder if I'm standing, if I stand here, whether they'll come for me or not, or if they're still trying to go over over there. Technically, what I could do is run over and stand on that plate over there. Please don't tell me he's going to kill me while I'm running downstairs over here. I just hear the static, so he's here somewhere. Okay, vulture first. Come on, before you vomit. Where is this dude? He's definitely down there somewhere. I just can't see where he is. There's another vulture over here as well. Come on, I need to hit as many of these guys as possible. 
And the nice thing is if with these grenades, you don't have to pull them back too far. Just have to make sure they reach where they need to reach. Come on. I hear the static, but I don't see the dude. And that actually, that's more and disconcerting than anything else. Oh, there you are. Um, let's see if I do this. Did I just hit him? Let's just stand on this side then. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. I don't want to be down here with him. Especially since I don't know what he does. I'll just stand up here. Oh, he doesn't have a head. His head is bugged out. And he's not taking any damage from the explosives. What the hell? Just the HD gun just now damaged him. Nothing else actually did some damage. Oh, this guy's tough. I need to be careful of this one. Windigo. I kept calling it the abominable slow man. Come on, John. More headshots. There you go. Okay, so I think we just killed all the zombies, at least from this horde. So I was definitely way more prepared than I thought. I just, I don't think I connected. Let me just see if that um, relay is there or not. If the relay is there, then I just forgot to connect the side. Yep. I completely forgot to connect the side. So that could have been my downfall, guys. Because the whole defense could have been bugged out if the zombies didn't know they should supposed to run over like this. The lines are still in perfect working condition. So even less zombies would have made it to us. If the side was actually electrified, or electrified. If it was electrified, then definitely uh, less zombies would have made it to us, so this base would have been even more epic. Let me just see what the loot is that we got from this horde. Oh, I should have actually used... That's Recog. It has more range damage. But then again, our guns are so powerful and so few zombies are making it over. It seems this is the best way to do it, guys. Use a defense where the zombies can fall off, because especially now in Alpha 19, the zombies are getting way tougher, so you don't want to face too many of them head on. And then just make, make sure if too many are getting over to electrify this walkway. So if I electrified it from over here, for example, even less zombies would have made it over. Because they do make it, especially on Nightmare Speed, they make it quite far. I think only this last one really shocks them. But yeah, guys, if you liked this episode, please like, share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? What do you guys think about this mod, about this series, about anything at all? Leave your comments down below. Remind you guys, this was my last ward. I thought I might be able to go till day 48, but I mean, we already have over 40 episodes. I mean, only know about day 28 or day 29 now. So yeah, the series, if, to get to day 45 ward would have taken about 70 episodes and that's just way too long. So um, I'm going to bid you guys adieu over here. I really hope you guys enjoyed the series. We, did, we didn't even really get that far late game, even though our gear is so epic. We don't haven't really faced like behemoths and stuff like that. But I think the net, uh, day 40 something odd would have had behemoths. But yeah, any uh, thoughts or comments on this series, on this mod, anything, all leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys in 2021.